The life that inhabits our planet comes in all kinds of varying shapes and sizes, but there are some organisms that absolutely dwarf almost everything else. In this video we will explore a few of the largest living forms, from the magnificent blue whale to giant fungal systems that spread over several kilometres. The blue whale is a truly awe-inspiring triumph of nature, holding the title for the largest known animal to have existed in the entire history of this planet. This massive baleen whale can reach absolutely colossal sizes, with the largest confirmed length of 29.9 metres. However, even greater lengths have been reported in the past, the maximum being 33.6 metres. These animals possess one of the biggest organs of any animal, most notably including the heart, which weighs around 20 stone and 4 pounds, or 180 kilograms, and has an aorta the diameter of a dinner plate. This organ must pump blood through an incredible 20 billion miles of blood vessels to keep the animal alive, supplying every single one of the world's 1,000 trillion cells with oxygen. The total weight of the whole animal can reach around 136.4 short tons, which is the largest reliably measured figure, though weights exceeding this have also been reported. Interestingly, there is apparently some variation in sizes between blue whales in different areas, with whales that live in the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans reaching slightly smaller sizes than those in the Antarctic regions. There also seems to be evidence that suggests male blue whales tend to weigh more than females, due to having heavier muscles and bones. Sadly, this animal's great size has also made it a target of extensive hunting by humans in the past. Between 1900 and late 1930s, 325,000 to 360,000 blue whales were wiped out by whaling in the Southern Ocean, in addition to another 20,000 that were killed in the North Atlantic and Pacific. Thankfully, these organisms received protection in 1966, but that didn't stop the species becoming severely endangered, and as of the IUCN's assessment in 2008, there are only between 10,000 and 25,000 blue whales alive today, representing 3-11% of the 1911 population. This mass eradication opens up the unfortunate possibility that the biggest of the blue whales actually had their genetics for large size removed from the gene pool, which could mean that it will be a long time before we ever see these whales pushing lengths of 30 metres again. A giant sequoia tree in California named General Sherman is thought to be the largest tree in the world, with a remarkable volume of around 1,400 cubic metres. It isn't the tallest tree in the world, that would be a 117 metre tall redwood called Hyperion, which is also in California, but General Sherman is the most massive tree by volume, despite it measuring quite a bit shorter, around 83 metres tall. Astonishingly, General Sherman is over 2,000 years old, but that actually makes it middle-aged, as the species can live for more than 3,000 years. During a storm in 2006, a branch fell from the tree that was so heavy it crushed a wooden walkway below. Giant sequoia trees reproduce very awkwardly, as their seeds can only grow in direct sunlight with no competing vegetation. Therefore, because of this, they require regular forest fires to kill off any competition. Their bark is fire resistant, and their cones open immediately after falling to take full advantage of a fire. The hot air that is brought up to the tree canopy causes the seeds to release. Their whole reproductive cycle is based around forest fires. The trees are also so incredibly tall that the xylem don't have enough pressure to get all the water all the way to the top, and so they employ air roots further up the tree to absorb moisture in the air. Pando is a series of genetically identical aspen trees in Fish Lake National Park in Utah. It is over 100 acres in area, and all the trees split from the single same tree using runners, meaning all the trees are clones of the first one. All the trees also have identical genetic markers, and because of this, it makes the whole colony one unique organism that shares a single root system. The tree system is possibly over 88,000 years old, but the original tree that started it all is long dead. One of the main factors for its success is the frequent forest fires that kill off the conifers that compete with it. It doesn't reproduce in conventional way of letting out seeds, because the environment is too arid for the seeds to take root, so it uses runners instead. Not only is Pando one of the largest organisms, it's also one of the oldest organisms still alive. Being 88,000 years old means it's been alive through the last glacial maxim and most of modern human civilization. Despite what you may think, the largest organism isn't the blue whale, nor even a giant tree. It is in fact a 9.6 square kilometre honey fungus living under the Blue Mountains in Oregon, that's probably somewhere between 1,900 and 8,600 years old. Belonging to a genus called Armillaria solipes, 
It was discovered when a team of scientists set out to find why trees were dying in the area, and the test showed that they had been infected and were being attacked by honey fungus. However, two trees that were around 3.6 kilometers apart had been infected by genetically identical fungi, which meant that this could be a massive colony. Scientists debated whether it might be considered a single organism or not, and in the end it was decided it was, as the colony all had the same genetic material and has cells that communicate to achieve a common purpose, the definition of an organism. But by this definition, an anthill could also be considered a single organism, but they aren't, because all the ants move separately and still have their own immune systems and digestive systems. Animals like ants are known as superorganisms, because they aren't one organism but act like one. So, there are four of some of the largest currently living organisms that populate our planet. Another notable contender for largest extant organism that I'll quickly mention is a seagrass in the Mediterranean south of Ibiza, known as Poseidonia oceansa, which spread across the seafloor for around 8 kilometers and could be over 100,000 years old. However, it's still not as large as the record-breaking upper estimates for the honey fungus. Hopefully this video has managed to show you some of the incredibly remarkable things that life on Earth can accomplish, especially if it's a plant or a fungus, and I hope you can appreciate the wonderful fact that we currently share our planet with all these gigantic beings, including the largest animal of all time. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.